Okay, today I'm going to be tying a pattern I've had a, a lot of questions about. It's a Betis pattern, uh, the Gil Betis. You may have seen me post it on Instagram. Uh, it's been a few other places. I uh, don't really have a name for it yet. I've kind of been playing around with it. was thinking about the BTK Betis, Billy the Kid Betis. A wild, wild west pattern. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a little more complicated, um, but not too difficult. So I'd like to share some cool techniques with you and uh, hopefully we can shed a little fly tying, share a little fly tying, sorry. Some materials we're going to be using today. Um, I've got the Simperfly Brick Beige, 30 denier, 18 knot. Uh, I'm going to be using some Body Quill, it's made by Vivas. A couple of different colors of this, you will see. Um, of course we got my handy dandy brush fibers for a tail which I really like to use got the uh, UV Deer Creek Diamond Fine and the hook we're gonna be tying on today is gonna be a fire hole hook it's a 718 in size 20 it's a great hook um, perfect for this pattern um, I typically tie them on this style of hook um, I like the hook the hook gap and uh, the beefiness of this hook let's get started we're going to start typically just behind the eye, lay down a few thread wraps. I'm not going to build too much of a thorax with this because uh, we have quite a lot of few materials going in on this pattern. I'm going to advance my thread down toward the rear. And I'm going to tie in my tailing materials. I use paintbrush. I typically like to use three fibers. I'll attach them here in the rear. Kind of check them for length. I'll put another thread wrap on. I like to go underneath these tail fibers and then kind of pull them up to the top of the hook. And then I will pull them for length. That's just about right. Advance my thread back up to the behind the eye. Just short of the eye, I like to clip them off so that I can keep the eye clean. I am going to be using material I didn't mention in the beginning, but this is Slim Rib. Uh, it's a stretchy ribbing material, comes in a variety of colors. A good friend of mine, Juan Ramirez up in Colorado, um, has this product. You can get it from him if you're on Instagram or Facebook. It's under Hopper Wand Fly Fishing. I'm gonna attach this here in the eye. Pull it to length. Really crank down with this Nano Silk. I really like it. Stretch this material pretty tight as you're going back. Make some nice touching wraps. It's like you didn't even tie anything onto this hook. You can pull it so tight with this nano silk. Then we're going to advance this back up. I am going to make a whip finish here. Um, just because I don't like to lose the tightness of this thread with this slim rib. Okay. Now I'm going to be tying in some body quill. I talked about this earlier. I'm going to go ahead and take about a foot length of body quill here. I'm going to zoom out so you can see this a little bit. About a foot length. And I'm going to go ahead and double it up. Um, hopefully you can see my hands here. I'm going to go ahead and double this up. I'm going to go ahead and cut it clean so that I have a nice even tie-in point. I'm gonna redo that. One kind of got away from me there. It's kind of important that uh, you keep these clean. My hands are a little rough today. Okay, there we go. 
And this is a cool little technique that I've been using for this pattern. I developed it a while back. I've been tying this pattern for, for quite some time and trying to work on different techniques and, and ways um, to make it easier to tie. I'm going to throw in a whip here just because I'm going to be doing some things with the thread. So now I'm going to go ahead and double this thread back. I'm sorry, this body quill back over toward the eye. Make a small loop and I'm going to come and throw a thread wrap over just to capture these. Let me do that again. Okay. So now I have two loops in the rear. I'm going to throw a couple of wraps. I'm going to pull it back. I'm not going to build much of a head here. I'm going to do the same process over. A little pinch wrap helps. Then I'm going to lay it back. I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to lay it back. So I made three continuous loops back, which is six total loops, and one last one, this last one here. I'm going to crank this down. I'm going to put a whip finish in it so that I don't lose my work. I know it looks a little bunchy here in the front, but that's what we're going to clean up right now. So our last loop, we're going to go ahead and pull forward, and we're going to throw the thread over to capture it. We're going to pull these loops one at a time over the top. This is a technique that I had to come up with with this fly because you can see all the material I'm having to work with here in the rear. I know it looks complicated. I can promise you that once you try it and give this technique a try, um, it makes a lot of sense and it makes it a lot easier to tie this pattern. So my last one I'm going to bring over. So if you notice, we had a total of, I, there was six there. Uh, I'm sorry, three there. So that you have a total of six here that you have looped over in the front. Now we're going to take our slim rib and we're going to leave our last loop free. Okay. With the slim rib, we're just going to simply start making some wraps. We're going to build up a, this is going to be our body. This is basically going to be our thread at this point. We're going to pull this last loop that we have over and we're just going to lay it right over the hook and we're going to capture it with that slim rib. Okay. We're going to grab it. We have it captured once. Let me do that again to make sure I got it right. Capture it once, and then we're gonna go over it again. Okay, so basically what we did is we used this slim rib as a guide to hold these, that's our first set of gills. Now the technique, we're gonna unwrap one and we're gonna release the next set of gills. For this set, I like to cut them it just makes it simpler for me. I can pull one to one side. Hopefully you can see that there in the camera. And I'm gonna pull the other side close down and I'm gonna secure it with one other wrap, okay? I'm gonna release another one. I'm gonna allow this to come up once again. I'm gonna separate it from the bunch. Closest side to me. Secure it and then throw another wrap over. I'm going to release another one and I'm just going to redo this process over and over and over until I get toward the top of the fly. So this is doing two things. It's separating our gills that we're creating with the body quill and it's also giving a beautiful color to this fly. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm going to release another thread wrap. So we're using the body quill to do two things. Color the fly and make some gills. This clear slim rib is doing all the work for us. So you can see it's not as complicated as what you might think. Obviously, if you let go of your slim rib, you're gonna to have to start all over again and that's the challenge. But I think that this technique um, is a fun learning process. It'll definitely keep you on the bench. It'll keep you busy. Um, play around with it, see what you think. Here's our last set, a little bit longer than the others, which is okay. We're going to throw this over. Now we're going to go ahead and put a few wraps of this slim rib just to capture it. I'm going to throw a few wraps with my nano silk to capture this slim rib. And then we'll 
couple in front just to hold it down. Now I can release everything and kind of take a deep breath and whew, relax. You got through that part. I like to throw a whip here again, just so that you don't lose anything. Um, you can pull this nice and tight. Coil this back up. Now what I'm going to show you here, my hands might get in the way for just a second. I'm going to try and separate these gills. The reason why we left that loop at the very bottom is what you can see so that we know which is our last set of gills. So we cut this free. We now pull one side to us and the other to the other side. Give me just a second here. I'll free up my hands so you can see the gills that we've created. Hopefully you can see that in the, in the lens. I, at this point, like to, to take the closest ones to me and at a small angle, and I'll show you here in just a second, cut them at a slight angle so they have a slight taper. You do the same with the closest side. Hopefully my hands are not too much in the way. I'll try and turn it so you can see. And there you go. We got ourselves some gills on a nice small pattern. Um, not as complicated as what you might think. Um, it looks really well, moves well in the water, catches a lot of light, um, and it can really be a fun technique for you to try. So now we're gonna go ahead and advance our thread back toward the first set of gills. We're gonna again take our body quill and we're gonna cut about a four inch piece. I'm now gonna take a different color, and this is up to you. You Feel free to, to play around with this, uh, different colors. Um, obviously, if you use green, you can make a, a, a green betis, you can gray. Um, this blonde color here, which, which is really nice, you can definitely make a few colors with it. So I'm gonna take two colors now, maybe about four inches in length. I'm gonna marry them together here, and I'm gonna go ahead and double them up as well. Hopefully you can see my hands here. The camera zooms back a little bit. Okay. So I basically just doubled them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut them clean. And I'm going to tie them in right here on the top of the fly. This is going to represent our wing case and our legs. I'm just going to latch them down. Now I'm going to take some peacock curl. Um, this happens to be close to the eye. I really like doing this. This is something that I've, I've played around with a lot. You've seen some of my other patterns. I like to use a lot of the quill closer to the eye. I know it has um, the ribbing and the band there, but I feel if I use the smaller fibers toward the front on these smaller flies, it doesn't make it so bushy. Um, so it's just a technique that I like. I'll take these in here. I'm gonna typically cut back about an inch and a half, two inches. Tie them on on the top. Now I'm going to rib these, and you can notice that I have the ribbing toward the rear. I'm going to advance these forward. These are dyed blue wing olive. Um, you can buy them in a variety of colors, or you can dye them yourself. I'm going to attach those there, and I'm going to go ahead and just break these off. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my wing case over. I'm gonna preen these fibers back just a little bit. I'm gonna bring that wing case over. I'm gonna tie it with one turn on the bottom. I'm now gonna separate these and I'm gonna use one color for each side. So I have a dark and a light and a dark and a light. And I'm just gonna capture those on the sides. I'm now gonna whip finish this fly I like to put a whip right here in the front. Hopefully you notice that. What that allows me to do is with this nano silk, I can now pull it back firm and I can really make a nice clean eye. Uh, that's a technique that I've played around with. Um, my son and I kind of do this on our flies. Makes it for a nice clean, clean tie. I'm gonna get a marker. I'm gonna get a Sharpie here. I'm gonna separate these, these legs. And I'm just going to touch ever so slightly here the top of this fly. I just want to see that I darken the head there. Now I'm going to grab me some UV. I'm going to put it on my 
bodkin here. You see me do this in other videos. Um, and I like to hold these legs back on the side of the vise just to get them out of the way. I'm just going to put an ever so slight dab here. Kind of spread it out. Going to hit it with a light. Cure that. All right. Now I'm going to pull these fibers back just to behind the thorax. Lay my blade right on top. Cut those out. Splay them just a little bit. Nice shiny pattern. Um, this is the Gil Betis or the BTK Betis. It's a really fun pattern. It's got really nice segmentation. It's got a lot of movement in the water. Um, it's a lot of fun to tie. I Experiment with it. Play with some different colors. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Go fish. Thank mm -hmm. you.